Welcome back to the South Bank Chicago Marathon. Now, Joyce Chichumba, the defending champion. Uh, she has a bit of a problem. We'll go back and pick it up on videotape. She is in the back of the pack, Joan, and uh, and she trips and falls. I don't know if she caught a heel or if she tripped, uh, but kind of back in the pack. Yeah. And oh, now she's boy. down. She really went down. Oh, yeah. This could be a tough recovery for Joyce, especially um, knowing how cold it is out there. And Joan, you always watch how quickly she gets up. She yeah. did not try to bounce. Yeah. All right, now for a report, Ann Werner is there. Ann? Charlie, I saw Joyce fall, and she got up slowly from that. She's a good, uh, I'd say she's about 50 yards behind the lead pack right now. Irina Bogacheva is in the lime green, and she is leading the women's pack right now. We are starting to see the, the familiar faces. Colleen Ruck from South Africa is in that lead pack, as well as Alana Mare. They have made their way to the front. Uh, our friend Ai from Japan has trailed off a bit. She is not in sight with that lead pack. But as you said, it's going to be very interesting to see how Joyce recovers from that fall. She went down hard. I think she was a little bit stunned at first. But right now, Irina Bogacheva in the, in the lime green and the black is leading the women's pack. Charlie, back to you. Show the effect that this will have on Joyce. Well, it's not only it's not only the fall, it's the breaking of the stride. You get into a momentum with your stride, and once that momentum is broken, that's very difficult to recover from, let alone fall with the with the breaking of the momentum. So uh, Joyce is a tough competitor. I'm sure she'll hang on. She'll collect her wits about her, and uh, I, I think she's still there's Marianne Sutton, the defending champ, right in front of her. Uh, she knows she's still still in contention, and um, I think. She she just needs to simmer herself down a bit and, and uh, come back slowly. Right there, there she goes right now, right yes, by Marion. So then you can see her picking it up right now. But so. that shot, you had the last three champions. Marion Sutton won it, uh, one had back-to-backs, could not uh, pull off the, the three-peat. And Joyce Chichumba, who fell, now is up and back on stride again. But what are, are the long range? Does this take away from you, or does the, does the hurt come, or now does the hurt not come till after you finish the race. I think the hurt will come tomorrow morning when she wakes up. She'll be a little stiff, but she'll be so <laughs> stiff from the many miles that she's running. So I, I, I really don't think it's going to be too much of a factor for her, except that she was focused and she broke her momentum. And that is a big deal when you're in the thick of things. Thank you. Unlike the men's race right now, the women's race is still very much a pack. Marion Sutton is leading it right now. Irena Bogacheva is in the mix. Colleen DeRuck and Joyce Shipchamba, who we saw fall down earlier on the course, the defending champion of the Chicago Marathon. She's right there in the lead, along with Christy Johnson and Libby Hickman of the United States. So it's a great women's race right now, which is what we had all expected and hoped for, since it is such a strong, deep field. The women's number one ranked runner in the, in the world, though, Katrina McKiernan, she has trailed off of the lead pack a bit. She looks to be about 10, 15 yards behind the women's lead pack right now. Charlie, Joan, and Frank, back to you. All right, thank you, Ann. Number 101 is Joyce Chichumba, the defending champion. This is the lead women's pack. Let's go out to Ann Werner. Ann? Charlie, thank you. We've talked about the Chicago Marathon having a great history for runners who are making their marathon debuts. We're seeing that right now with runner number 124, that is Margaret Akeo from Kenya. This is her debut marathon, and here we are on mile 17. She's hanging with the defending champion, Joyce Chipchumba. Charlie? All right. Thank you, Ann. And right behind them is Elena Mayer with the white shirt and the black hat. was making a break right now but Margaret's still right with her though um, they're on about 227 pace and remember Joyce ran 223 uh, 22 to win here last year so she certainly has the ability to pick up the pace at this point she has a lot more speed on the track than than Margaret has uh, Margaret's credentials aren't all that impressive in the shorter distances she's run a 16 19 I believe 5k and a 33 uh, 10k so um, 
you know, this is Joyce's, uh, she's at the controls here, and uh, I'll tell you, this will be a uh, really fast debut for, for Margaret, whether she, she holds on or, or drops slightly off the pace. Because Alana they're Mayer. well under 2.30, and there's Alana Mayer right mm -hmm. there. Now, remember, Alana holds the world record, or the world's best in the half marathon, having uh, run a 106.44 earlier this year in Tokyo. And I'm going to assume that uh, Colleen DeRook has fallen back. Uh, we can't see her in the picture right now. There are your two leaders, Joyce Chipchamba and Margaret Okayo. And last year, Joyce came from behind and really ran very, very hard for the last three miles. So as you say, Joan, she probably has quite a bit left. And she also knows that she's not on record pace. So it's now become a, a, a real competition rather than a run for the record the way it still is with the men. Interesting note, though, for the women, Margaret Okayo overlooked in all of the pre-race uh, choices and in a lot of respects Moses Tanui, uh, Tanui was also overlooked and now with the I women let's, let's switch over to the women's bag number 101 is Joyce Chipchamba and uh, number 124 is Margaret Okayo and she always seems to go to the far side of the uh, of the race course or the far side of the street. I think it's just uh, because of her inexperience. <laughs> this is her debut in the marathon. Yeah. And, um, you know, Joyce knows how to cut the tangents and, and Margaret's learning. She's the fledgling here. And I think that uh, Joyce has really pulled her along. I think Joyce is helping Margaret and realizing that Margaret could have a great debut here in Chicago. And perhaps that is just as important to Joyce as it is to, um, you know, the time that she would run if she was running by herself. She realizes she's off the record here. She's off her PR. And let's bring Margaret home. All right, let's check in with uh, Ann Werner's out on the race course. Thank you, Charlie. We just passed the mile 24 mark, making our way towards 25. Joyce has been running so strong the last five minutes or so while all the dramatics with Khalid have been going on. Margaret, as you said, has just stayed behind her a few times. Joyce has looked over her left shoulder to see what's going on in her rearview mirror, but always Margaret has been behind her. Joyce has just been so strong, running very comfortably. She's got some blood running down her knee from when she fell earlier in the day. But other than that, signs of a champion coming at us. She's closing and, and looks a little lighter on her feet. Although Joyce, Joyce is more of a strength yeah. runner. And um, Margaret's PR in the 5K is 16.17. For those of you at home, the 5K is just over three miles, and uh, Joyce's uh, PR is 1559. Uh, so Joyce has more speed, but again, Margaret's coming from behind. She can see exactly what's going on with Joyce. And I think she's gonna sit as long as she can and just hold her breath and go, uh, because she knows that, that Joyce has the speed and if she tries to go too early, that Joyce will come back on her with that speed. But it's hard to hold back. When you're this close to the finish, it is hard to hold back if you're feeling good. And she's sitting right there. Yeah, just and to I think she's going to go any minute here now. She really looks great. You so can see Joyce digging back. On the left, Joyce Chichumbo on that shot. Now she's on the right. Margaret Ocayo of Kenya. Challenges now on her inside. Somewhere back there, also in the top five, are Elena Mayer, Colleen DeRook, and Marianne Sutton. And as we said earlier, this is Margaret Okaya's debut marathon. And as they go underneath, she may well take the lead. At 25 miles, American Libby Hickman was in sixth place. And this field, that's very good for an American runner. Now, literally, side by side. We're going to see a move here. But Joyce Chepchum is still hanging in there. Stride for stride. Look at that. Arms, legs. Stride for stride. Now they're just waiting, Joan. Now it's the waiting game. Who makes the first move? Kenya. You know, and it's it's of Kenya. going through the heads now with Joyce's. I've been there, done that. This is all new to Margaret. 
down the final straight. Oh, boy. Maybe 300 meters. 200 meters. No, no less. 100 meters. <laughs> and here they come. Uh, and there goes Joyce with her speed. Giving it everything she has. Margaret refusing to let go. Oh, boy. Right. Uh, Joyce takes the lead. Joyce has it by two meters. Oh. Joyce chipped up the defending champion by a stride. 226 even, unofficial. We've had a lot of... Woo! What a finish. A men's world record and the closest finish in the women's. What a what great a day for the LaSalle Bank Chicago Marathon.